when I made the best spray bottle ever, here is all the ingredients that I use. My spray bottle, my funnel, and measuring cups, one third and one half of a cup, and all of these wonderful essential oils and oils. So my base is pretty much aloe vera juice. This is probably the only product that I use my half of a cup measuring cup for. I'm going to use my funnel just so I can easily transport the product from its container into my spray bottle. So here goes one half of a cup of aloe vera juice. Love aloe vera juice. It really helps with maintaining good pH balance in your hair. Castor oil. Love castor oil as a good oil. It's cold pressed and um, cold processed castor oil. You can get this at any vitamin shop or Whole Foods or GNC. It's probably about six or seven dollars a bottle. And I'm going to use my third of a cup measuring cup. And I'm only going to use that and make it measure at about half of a third of a cup. So I'm using half of a third of a cup of castor oil into the spray bottle. And that is probably the same amount that I'm going to use for every other product that I put into the spray bottle. It's going to be half of a third of a cup. So that's one sixth of a cup of every other product. And because it's just easier to measure half of it in the third cup measuring spoon, that's what I'm going to use. So here I'm using jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is an excellent oil for hair and skin. And I'm going to use half of a third of a cup of jojoba oil. I love jojoba oil. It's so wonderful. It is kind of expensive. Then I'm going to use some 100% glycerin. And it's great for hair and skin as well. It's a great moisturizing agent. And so I'm going to use one, third, one half of a third of a cup of this. Oh, I didn't even use a, a half of a cup on that. I barely used half of that. So it's probably one eighth of a cup of the glycerin in this spray bottle. So as you can see, the water, my spray bottle is now almost half filled. Now I'm going to use some extra virgin coconut oil. The coconut oil is... Um, at room temperature so it's kind of a little harder consistency but this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna stuff it in there oops and there it goes so there's my coconut oil and once it mixes with its other oils it also will become more liquidized but when it's room temperature coconut oil is more of a harder consistent basis so I'm going to be using my essential oils now. I have some lavender, and I'm just going to put a couple of drops of lavender in it. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the actual drops. Um, they don't come out so easily, um, but I did put, I probably got about a four or five drops of lavender in that spray bottle. Peppermint is my favorite essential oil. I love how peppermint feels on my hair. And that is the main reason why I'm putting it in my spray bottle. It makes my hair tingle, my scalp tingle, and I absolutely love it. And as you can see, I like to put a lot of peppermint oil in my spray bottle. I definitely want to make sure that I feel the tingling of my scalp when I'm using it. My last essential oil is going to be Yang Lang Lang. And I'm just putting a couple of drops of this. Um, I hear it's very moisturizing for hair and, and skin. So I'm going to use that. My last but not least is extra virgin olive oil. I'm actually going to use a half of a cup of this into the spray bottle. I absolutely love aloe vera juice. It's so moisturizing for hair. It does wonders, and you can get this at any grocery store. So I definitely love the extra virgin olive oil. And this is my best spray bottle ever. And I'm going to show you a couple of styles that occurred when I used this spray bottle with any of my products that I had this week. Bye, ladies.